thought I'd spend some time talking about Christmas presents, especially teenage girls, which I've had to really <laughs> dig deep with my daughter. We've had open conversation really i didn't see the point of me buying things that disappoint her it's a waste of money and that that's the rabbit hole you can easily go down you know you think oh this looks nice this looks nice we've had it in the past especially when she was younger i'd buy games i'd buy all sorts of things and it's just it was of no interest to them they never asked for it and it's like oh you know because sometimes you just do fillers you're just trying to fill but filling costs money and it's a waste um for instance Recently bought her an Xbox One X. Should have waited for Christmas, but you know she gets things year round. I look, you know, she never goes without. Um, we spoke about getting a new control pad for it. There's a purple one. She really likes color purple. Purple is actually one of the hardest ones to get, and so it kept running out of stock. And I said to her, "Do you still want it?" And of course, any child would just say, "Yeah, I'll, I'll have anything." But I said to her, "I said think about it before you say yes, though, because the money that goes towards that you could spend on something else." She goes, "I'd rather have something else." okay um so that's where the conversation sort of started with that um we have a beautiful relationship she said absolutely hilarious she's been putting on an american accent all evening um like a southern one i said i think that sounds like mississippi i think so we looked up mississippi accents and that's the accent she'd put on she does it at school and stuff but she's just hilarious and um, we have so much fun so <laughs> she completely derailed my evening i was supposed to be working on my audio book which i'll do tomorrow but yeah, we spent about a good three, four hours just talking about Christmas presents and all sorts of stuff. But it was nice because you're collaborating, you know. Um, she's not greedy, but I have spent, I'd say about £400 on Christmas, and I didn't think I was spending that. Now, people might think that's, that's not a lot, but for some people that are struggling for money at times, it's like, that's really pushing me. Um, but I wanted to have a beautiful Christmas, and um, I've done the best I can. So I've only got a couple of bits. For instance, I had to buy a hairdryer this year. She wanted a hairdryer. Again, we selected that. I said, is this one good? Is this one good? Is this one good? She's like, oh, I want that, that one, that one. So, great. Again, I do it without her, without her input. I'll end up buying something that's disappointing. So I think the conversation's worth having. Um, let's have a couple of other little bits, really. We've got, I've got, um, she chose all the clothes from Sheen. I don't use Sheen. I was like, you just, how do we do this? And then she just, she literally did it all on her phone. And then she just sent me like an order. Um, and literally I just went for it and then, and then ordered it. So now it's, it's getting delivered to me, but it was her choice of clothes. Again, what's the point of me choosing clothes? My style isn't going to match what her style is. Just... So we've got that coming. I've bought her some DVDs that have arrived at my mum's home. So I need to collect them next time I see her. Um, and they, they, they're they going to be like romance movies and things. She's, she's collecting DVDs. So there's ways to do that. Music Magpie in the UK. CX, great places. Um, so what I'm going to do is just a rundown of what I've bought her but also show some of the places I found along the way that I think could be gold mines for other people. Because to be honest, I was like, what is this? This is great. And of course, I want to buy her the shop, but there has to be some level of control as it's getting mental. Um, so I recently gave her a vinyl record player, which has got built-in CD. She also then said she wants CD at her mum's home. I recently gave her a portable DVD disk drive for her laptop, for a MacBook, and you can play CDs. But it's not ideal for music and to keep plugging all that in. So she said she wants to, can you get, she'd like a CD player for Christmas. Um, a family member had a spare one. So I've, I've sent that to her. But of course, now she wants music. So she made a list and I didn't even know of one of these singers, but I got it and I listened through Spotify and I was like, oh, I actually like this. Um, so we've got Julia Michaels, not in chronological order. I, that's my, I have this CD. I love it. It's uh, very underrated. I don't think many people know of it. I was ready to pay maybe six, seven pound for it. I went on Amazon, literally one pound fifty. I was like, "What the hell?" Like, I, it's not about the price, you know. I just, I was shocked how cheap it was. And she didn't ask for this. This is like curveball. I'm throwing at her because she's asked for Olivia Rodrigo Sour. I was like, "What is this?" So I listened to a couple of songs. I didn't like it at all. Then I listened later, and I was like, "Oh, some of them are good. I get it. I get it." Um, with their teenage children, teenage kids, you know, in terms of like love and all that shit. Um, then we've got Noah Kahan. I don't know how you spell his name, pronounce it, but Stick Season. This is the more expensive version with the extra tracks. £15, a bit expensive for a CD, but I was like, you know what? She wants it. Let's just get it out of the way. And then um, she's happy. Um, we've got Gremlins Dancing Gizmo. Now, she's absolutely obsessed with Gremlins. So that was a no brainer for her. I felt. 
the quality maybe doesn't match what your expectation is, but she still wants it. And I know come Christmas, she's not going to be happy if she hasn't got it. And if they sell out, I'm going to be annoyed with myself. So I just thought, just get it. Just get it. She's got what she asked for. She, hopefully she'd be happy. Um, the Gremlins box set on DVD is six ninety nine. Sometimes it drops to six twenty nine or something stupid. But again, I just thought, just get it out of the way. So we've got Gremlins and we've got CDs. Um, we've got like a vanity mirror as well. She really wanted this and it's got the lights all around it. She chose a cheaper one that was slightly smaller. I thought it was worth paying an extra 10, 15 quid for one that's slightly bigger because I think, you know, if you do any makeup and you look at, you do stuff in the mirror, she wanted one that swivels. So that's what we've gone for. Most of our purchases tends to be Amazon. I just find it convenient. I, I don't, I'm not a big shopper. I think, you know what, if I can do it all in one shop, let's get this shit delivered. Um, she also said she wants crystals. So I started looking around for crystals. Which ones do I like the look of? How the review's going? This one come with a cute uh, box and it contained many different crystals. So I just thought, you know what? That's going to be a nice gift for her. That's just under £20. Now, this is a real good find because I know her taste in movies and a, a general interest in humour. I said, have you ever heard of Fred? And she said, what? Freddy, um, Drop Dead Fred. It's a UK movie. She said, she don't like that. I said, I never did either. But no, Fred. I said, this guy. And so she looked and she goes, oh, I remember him. And she liked him. And I said, yeah, you can't find these discs anywhere. You can get a CEX for a pound. But I don't know. I don't know if there's one near me. And I just thought, sod it. I found it on Amazon for it's used but it, unfortunately it's an old film it's going to be used um one pound 80 plus delivery it's worked out three pound 16 literally i don't even think they've got many in stock i think it was like three or four so that's actually incredibly rare um not really for adults but kids that will love it um she's fascinated with luke combs i've loved luke combs for years i've got most of his albums on cd um but she's just really started growing into him. And I said, what album do you want of his for Christmas? Do you want one of his ones? And she said, yeah, his new one, Father and Sons. So fortunately for me, that was the cheapest one of his releases. Um, but I haven't even got this one yet, but she's got that. Then I'm thinking like we've made in progress here. We've got a lot of what you asked for. I know it's not like a crazy amount of items, but I've already got some bits already. We've got the sheen order with clothes. I've got a load of DVDs turning up. We've got, um, where else are we heading here? Then all of a sudden, we was on a different shop, which I'll show in a minute, and she was just going mental for Marvel because she loves Marvel, she loves Spider-Man. And we started finding some T-shirts of, of Spider-Man. Of course, they're never totally cheap, like 15, 16 pound a, a shirt, some 18. Um, so we found a couple of Spider-Man ones. And I've, I've got to grab them. And then a pair, I, said, I found the socks. It was my own detriment, but I wanted to have nice things. And we found a pair of socks. I mean, a set of free socks that are Spider-Man related. So we've done that. Then she went crazy because she saw Gremlins. So after I've already spent like four, over forty pounds on two T-shirts and a pair of socks, and I thought that's a lot of money for two T-shirts and a pair of socks, really. Then she sees Gremlins, goes mental. So I'm like, yeah, I, I want you to have it. It's not a case of her being disappointed. I want her to be excited. I want her to be happy with what she's got. And I know Gremlins is going to make her hysterical. She's going through this merchandise period. Where she loves to she loves certain actors and she loves certain films and shows and she likes to collect like memorabilia related to them and it seems to be especially clothes so yeah Gremlins Ghostbusters whatever um, but at the minute it seems to be Gremlins and Spider Man so I I'll feed that delusion let's do this <laughs> so you think you're wrapping it up and you're not um, then we got like stockings I was like what are we talking because she's having Christmas with me this year and I thought what do you normally have in a stocking for me it's just sweets. She goes, oh, mum puts all sorts of things in there. And I thought, oh, bloody hell, we're just we're going crazy here. <laughs> um, so I've spent another £50 just on stockings, although 10 was near enough for me. For the, I bought myself the Mummy Trilogy on Blu-ray. I had to fit something in. Um, <laughs> so I've got some thermal Christmas socks, got some makeup brushes, got a pedicure stuff. She didn't ask for the pedicure. She's going to be surprised, good or bad. I don't know. That's a tenner, but it looks nice. Um, then I found these little panda bear things, which are really cool. Oh, the raccoons. I thought they were, pa I thought it was a brown, a pound. I thought it was one of those pandas. Um, orange panda. I don't know what you call it. Then I found these really cool, charming little things. They're coasters for your cups to sit on, but they're like vinyl records. Little, little vinyl records. I thought that's really cool. Um, and when I go through my little checklist, for instance, we've got, um, Xbox tick. So I already got her an Xbox before Christmas. She did have CD player, but removed it. 
We've got Gizmo, Mirror, Hairdryer, Funko Pop, Sheen Shopping, um, CDs, Jelly Cat. There's a dragon. I'll show that again in a minute. Uh, crystals. And then I've added other things to this list that I've ticked off. So what she asked for, she's got. And, uh, you know, the, it never looks crazy amount, does it? But when you look at the price you spent, you go, bloody hell, I've spent like 400 quid here. Um, not sure on what, but when it's all together, hopefully it'll feel good. Um, so she wanted this teddy, and I thought, to be honest, it looks absolutely cute. £27 for a teddy. But when they're, I think, when you're getting certain brands, I guess you pay for it. Um, so it's £27, and every time I look, it's out of stock. And I'm like, hmm. I go around the rest of the website. I'm not really enamored with any. I said, if you see any others you want. But it was always on this one. Then she said she knows a shop nearby, that around near her, that has one. So I was like, okay, if you, tell, if you see it in stock, let me know, and then I'll send you the money. Then I thought, wait a minute, if that shop has it, then they must be sold elsewhere. Then it's not just stick to them. So I did a Google and I found this shop, Temptation Gifts. Now, it, it does say there's 30,000 positive reviews. So that's good news. But like anything, if you shop on a new store, there's a risk. And I just took the hit. I just thought, you know what? It's, it's 30 pound. If I lose, I lose. If I win, I win. Um, of course, if I don't get the item, I'll put a complaint in with the bank and things. But it's not like I'm not an idiot. Um, but it was it was like literally five five pence five pence. So it's really much the same price as Fuddlewood's thing. It's only five pence cheaper than the, the official. Um, but delivery was only two pound. So this is out of stock. And then I found it here. If we go on here and type Fuddle, ah oh, crap, what's it called? Fuddle. Oh, Fuddle Waddle. Yeah, Fuddle Waddle, here he is. And there's also other other ones as well. That's pretty cool. There's some other cool ones. Here he is, twenty six ninety five. It's in stock. So you go on, anyone that's interested, these jelly cats, literally out of stock on the website, but this shop has it in stock. So it's not a lost cause at all, and they've got plenty of other stock. Um, and it's literally the same price I'd pay for the um, the official shop, maybe even cheaper because the delivery is cheap. Uh, then I noticed they sold all the other stuff. I thought, this is going to be nice for Christmas gifts. Um, I haven't really been through the store, but I just thought, to be honest, it looks a nice shop. So that's worth going to if you're interested in the, in the teddies or anything else Christmas gift related. You may find it there. And then because sort of my daughter was really interested in merchandise, we started talking about um HMV, and I love HMV as a shop. Like you walk around, you walk around town, and I love going in HMV. But HMV's becoming less about movie collection they're more about merchandise and things and you can get collectibles there but i noticed most of the collectibles had run out of stock so she was looking there meanwhile i'd already looked uh, like a couple of days before so i said why don't you i found this other website why don't you come over to the, check this one out and she was getting mental this one's called infinity collectibles and they literally have collectibles but they're some are expensive but then I find some are reasonably priced. It just means they're just getting top tier quad products in, you know. Um, and it, so there's like these categories. You got obviously you got things at the top, but down here we've got Star Wars, Marvel, Harry Potter, Lord of the Rings, Disney, DC, anime, whatever you think of, it's on here. So what I could do, I'm just gonna go through some of the tabs rather than that. Even I don't stitch there. Look. So here we go on Gremlins. Now, she's obsessed with gremlins. We've discussed that. I've found some things on Amazon, not everything. This here is what I bought off of um, Amazon. It's cost me £5 more Amazon, but Amazon's easy to return things. So if she's disappointed with that come Christmas, I can return it, for instance, and then they'll get the £40 back, £45 back, and she can spend it on something else. Uh, and that's how I'm doing it. I don't mind returning things, you know. And Amazon allow you all the way up to the end of January because it's Christmas purchases. So I think if it's a, if it's the price is negligible, I would always opt for Amazon just because of the convenience of that. Um, and that's, that's just where I'm at. So <laughs> there's a lot of characters you can get. There's um, sweaters you can get, um, bags, all sorts of stuff. And you can even a key ring look. This looks quite cool. This £30 plush teddy. I actually quite like that. But I think I'm having that toy at the same time. So that's got rigid ears. Uh, it's quite a popular item, really. I didn't want it selling out elsewhere, and I'm like, you know, on Amazon, and I can't get it. <laughs> but yeah, we was going through a lot of these. This is where she found this T-shirt, and we was going to get that one. 
in the end. I don't know if it's this one. Uh, what one did I get? I think we've got uh, I got the one that says official. This one. So I got that one in the end because it literally says it's an official product. So I thought, okay. So the writing's at the top, whereas on their one, the writing's at the bottom. I don't know what one's better. I think I quite like this one. But I've never shopped with a shop before. And buying one item, I don't know what the delivery is. Um, oh, I didn't see that. Say five ninety nine when you order any two or more T-shirts. That's quite interesting. Drops the price by like three pound per shirt. Makes it competitive, depending on delivery fees, of course. Um, but that's really just Gremlins. And of course, if you're on Amazon, you can obviously go, go through loads of stuff. But I think it's worth checking out the quality, whether something's official or not, because you'll find some shirts are going to be really cheap. The print will be poor, and the shirts will be incredibly thin. So I think you've got to be aware of that going in. Um, then I went and had a look at, oh, this is the DC section. So I've just gone on DC and I'm looking at these incredible statue things. They have the figurines, but these are like not the cheap ones. You know, these are the ones that are really well made. Some go up to a thousand pounds, by the way. So that one's a cheaper one at 60 pounds, but it looks cool. But this one here is um, 280 pounds. You've even got a Wonder Woman here for freaking six fifty. Um, but I would say this. Oh, look, this one's cool. This looks like, and I love the fact that they are replicas of even the movies. You know, so if we go on this one, for instance, it looks like the movie. You know, with uh, Joaquin Phoenix. Yeah, that's mad to me. I would love to have these, but they're past my pay thing really at the moment. But one day maybe they're two hundred fifty quid for that one. This is a pre-order. comes out April, June. You can put a partial payment now and pay the rest later. Um, I may actually do that on something if I think, if I want it enough, because I'd, I'd expect my, my, my finances to change a lot by then. One would hope. Um, and if it's a pre-order, you don't want to miss out on some of these. You never know if they're available again, you know. But um, like I say, some items are just crazy price. Some are, some are cheap, some are expensive. I don't want to go too far on this DC stuff because um, there's a lot more to cover. It just... That one there, six hundred and seventy pound. You can just, you know, that's going to be rock solid. I quite like the cushion, the Batman cushion actually. I like that. I might come back and have a look, but that's, I try and stay away really because I know I could end up going mad with it all. Because I like Batman. Um, this is Harry Potter. I've already started looking, so we're looking at neck um, earrings, little charms. These are cool. If you go on page one, because normally it's more relevant, it's going to have some nice stuff. I might try and zoom in a little bit if it's possible. Just see so more clearer. So this is all Hogwarts stuff. There's a sweater there, but mainly it's like you start to find the figurines and maybe things you wouldn't see elsewhere. And we've got two. Some birthday cards. We've got baseball caps. Um, I will put links in the description on YouTube. Oh, this is cool. I didn't see this before. So we've got cool stockings. But I've got one with my daughter with her, with her initial, so I don't need anything like that. Tote bags. There was a nice lamp she actually really likes for Spider-Man. So there might be something I look into later. Then there's a nice mat. If anyone's into Harry Potter... For your desk, like for instance, I've got, a, I've got a plain black one that goes along the length of my desk. And it's just ideal rather than a little mouse pad. It goes across, you put your keyboard on it as well. Even if you're not gaming or anything, it'd be nice. Um, it's around here somewhere. Uh, purse, scarf. Even the Funko Pops, you know, that's what I mean. It's, it's the fact that he covers most things. And I think it's going to be most things where you might go, oh, it's out of stock in this shop or I can't find it. You come here, it's sitting here. Um, they, it's like they're specialists in collectibles, and I'm all for that. It makes me want to be a collector, you know. Um, may push me to be a collector, to be honest, because I'm tempted. Here it is. I like this jumbo desk mat. It's only twelve pounds, eleven ninety nine. I think it's. I think it's great. I can't really zoom in any further. Let me see if I can do this. Let me see how far my my zoom will go on the. Um, it's acting a bit iffy at the minute. My computer. Why won't it go further in? Pushing me away. Oh, I don't know why it's doing that. 
That's the best we're going to get. Anyway, it says back to Hogwarts, School of Witchcraft. Which would be, I might even do that for myself. I shouldn't really, because this one's really smooth for gaming. But that I do like. Of course, you get all sorts of maps. You don't always have to get a Harry Potter one, but I'm all for that. So can we come out of that one? I like that. Then you've got a travel mug. It looks nice. But I just think people that are into Harry Potter, you're going to find um, a treasure trove of, of stuff that maybe you haven't even seen anywhere else. Oh, I'm going to spend some deep time here. The trouble with her is sometimes she likes Harry Potter, sometimes she gets bored of Harry Potter, and I can't win. So I'd love to get her things, but I wouldn't want to get something that she's... It's like she would have spent on something else. And that's why I'm trying to work with her rather than do anything spontaneous because there's no point wasting money, you know. Might as well have something. I'd rather she just has everything she wants, she likes, rather than one thing that's going, oh, I'm not sure about that. Well, what's the point then? I like that. Harry Potter shaped mug. Phoenix. Yeah, I'm going to have a little look through this website and I bet my basket ends up £500 enough to go. I have to cancel it all. <laughs> the sadness. Oh, and most of it's for me. <laughs> it's my turn to be happy. Um, yes, we we come off Harry Potter now. Although that's probably where I'm going to go back to. Even that is quite cool. I think I'd like a Batman. I'd like a Batman pet cushion now. I don't know where I put it. But I just want one. That's a nice Hogwarts. I prefer that one than the Harry Potter one. I do like that. Now I want her to have it, but will she like it? Do you know what I mean? It's like you know, you know, they. It's, it's like you should like it. You should like it. It's awesome. And then it's like I don't want that. It's like God damn it! Why can't you like the things I like? Um, <laughs> it's just the way, isn't it? You think you know, and that's the way we are when we shop for things, of course. Um, coaster mats, and it's going to start going to necklaces and things. Then we've got, I've got, oh, this waffle maker is so cheap. Now I've got a really heavy duty waffle maker. It costs hundred pounds. So I'm not going to get uh, anything else, but this is supposed to be 40 pounds. They're obviously, it's obviously clearance and it's 9.99. And although it's plastic, it seems to have like the Harry Potter glasses and his, um, the lightning bolt. I think for 10 pounds, that's a bargain. Uh, that's the mat. This I actually liked. She didn't like it. She thought his head looked weird as a round thing, but I thought it was cool. And that's forty pounds, but it's not available yet. It's pre-order. This I found absolutely amazing. As soon as you saw it, even when it was small, it was obvious that was Andrew Garfield from Amazing Spider-Man. Like literally from a distance, looks like Andrew Garfield, and it's three hundred pounds. And oh, it sold out. Didn't know it sold out. I would, well, I would, I would have that. That's cool. It's just the detail, you know. This one is Iron Man estimated quarter four next year i might that's 550 isn't it oh because it's for next year you could sort of preempt it if you like and say look i could have that it's a lot of money for a, a statue isn't it it's more that fact that they run limited editions i think and it's like can you get it later but do you really need it i'd like it for 550 though i'm not sure this one I would probably want more. In fact, I would want this one more. I'm not even a huge Deadpool fan. I like Deadpool. I might actually pre-order that. £190 comes out between January and March. A lot of money, but I think that's one that's probably worth it. Because you've, you've got the dog with the weird tongue. Yeah, I may pre-order that one. That'd be a nice treat. She did like this lamp. I don't know how much she needs a lamp, but it's actually a work a workable lamp, which I thought was quite cool. For forty two forty four pounds. You can get it on Amazon as well. So it's not exclusive or anything. Um but it does look quite cool. I like that. See that was a good pick from her. Um and then you've got like prints and stuff of Spider Man. But I don't want to go too deep into this because people can I, I you know, I don't want to stop people from having a, a look themselves. Where was the beginning page we got there? Just want a front page. Here you go. So if we, oh, I did, I did even look at Lord of the Rings. What do I do? Lord of the Rings after we do Marvel just briefly. So Marvel, you just come in. Of course, you've got just the plastic toys. You've got, um, oh my God, you've got the plush for the dog. <laughs> so you've got Funko Pops. But then you get the statues that really start to look cool. Look at that. 
I'm not sure who would want um, that villain, for instance, but I think the setup looks cool. Some T-shirts. I thought she'd like the Red Marvel one, to be honest. But that just shows, doesn't it? Sometimes we think we know what, what they want and then they want something else. And it's That I like. That I like. That's a Grey Hulk versus Wolverine. £989.99. Nearly £1,000 for that statue. But uh, it's uh, mad. That is crazy. But I think that just shows the collectibles. And it's where you see those prices that these all, like, these all start to look like bargains. But these ones you can see are toys because they've got the, the gaps in the legs. And it's like, I want a figurine. So I want the ones that really stand there, look menacing, look cool. That one's £840. That would have been cool, the Andrew Garfield one. I actually quite like this one with the lamppost. If Andrew Garfield sold out, I'm guessing he sold out. Yeah, that would have been a cool one. Annoying. Um, so that's why I think if, you, if, if they're all going to start being sold out, it might be worth pre-ordering because you don't want to miss out on the next ones. At least I don't. I would like to have something, but then do I need them? It's a debate. This, I think, is called Kid Paul. Again, is that a pre-order? That's a pre-order as well for quarter two. So it's April to June. 250 quid. Now, of course, they're indulgent. Do we need them? I don't know. Uh, where was the other thing I was looking at? Ah, oh, Lord of the Rings. Let's just have a quick brief look at Lord of the Rings. Oh, it's going all over the place. Some look a bit toy I guess. Oh, I like the golems. Both of them golems look cool. Oh, socks and a mug. That'd be a nice gift for someone. So, I mean, this is opening my eyes to gifts now. It's like, well, I like that. That ring could be cool. That doesn't look like Frodo from here, but... Oh, that's cool. It's like a Hobbit, Hobbiton house, Hobbit house, but it's a Christmas themed one. It's ornament for Christmas for £70. I think that'd be nice. Playing cards, £90. Four decks, they look really nice, but I'm not sure I'd pay £90 for playing cards. Um, coasters, that's a lot of money for coasters, just for some leather bound coasters. I'm not sure, I wouldn't pay that. Oh, we've got more of them now. We've even got a Halloween-themed one. Where do you stop if you start? <laughs> That's the issue, really. Really, really impressed. And that's what I like about this shop is the fact that it seems to cover... Oh, look at that. Helm's Deep. £1,079. We've even got the statue of that. I'm not sure the quality at £90 compared to... Oh, my God. How the hell is that one dearer than that? That must be proper solid or something, because this one's 630. Uh, it ain't easy choices, is it, where you spend your money? There's so many different statues, different ornaments, different things to get. That's the dearest one I've seen so far, £1,500. For those with money, very fortunate, but I think you have to Draw a line somewhere. Even, even every at this rate, everybody has a bloody limit. No matter how wealthy you are, look at that one. So I'm going to be looking around for myself, and I just thought I'd show really some of the sort of wonderful things you can get um, by shopping around. Now I can't vouch for this shop because I've never used it, but the level of collection I've got it just leaves me enamoured, really, because it's the sort of place that I've always wanted to see. I've always thought like, what, what, can't can't there just be somewhere that just merges all this all the products together so I can find things. And they've got an awful lot of products that are interesting to me. Because I don't know what I'd prefer. I mean I love Lord of the Rings, but I do, I do quite like Harry Potter as well. Not sure. I think I'd lean more towards Lord of the Rings, in all honesty, as long as the quality is good. Only because I think Lord of the Rings, there hasn't been a new one for a while, at least I don't think there has, and I worry that maybe it'll fade. 
and Harry Potter keep thriving, so there'll always be something Harry Potter related. But then I don't know. Well, that's where we're shopping. There was something else I was going to show, but I can't remember now. Um, can't remember. But what I would say is, if you anyone's interested in the used market. It's worth going to Music Magpie if you're in the UK because you could get so many films. So the price of one movie on Amazon or something, you could come away with four, um, four films, and maybe even it maybe even more than that because literally they do a section here. It's buy one get one free. They're two pound a movie. So two, what was that? A pound a movie. By the time you've done the deal, they do another deal where it's four for a fiver, um, or four for eight. And to be honest, I think that's incredible. The four for eight would be the, the more expensive movies anyway. Either way, you're saving. And it reached a point where my daughter doesn't even mind. She likes to go down CEX, get the used films anyway. So it doesn't devalue the movie. If anything, it just becomes about now more about how much can you have rather than get that one that's pristinely wrapped in a wrapper. You know, because once it's in your disk drive, it doesn't matter anyway. So... um I know it's nice. I've still got, like, for instance, the CDs. I could have looked for some CDs on here, but for Christmas, I've bought her the brand new discs. Um, and she has got some brand new ones, like the Gremlins box set and things. But I think it's a, an area where I just thought we would explore. But yeah, you can get you can get CDs here. You can get DVDs. So for instance, if we just do One Direction, for instance, let's do One Direction. And you can go filter it on the left side. I don't know. Let me zoom in a bit. So... You can filter here, music, film, but books. So obviously they're different formats. We do music, CDs. They're not likely to be on deals because of what's happened to Liam Payne recently. Um, but the CDs, they're cheap enough. Look, Up All Night, 362. Take Me Home's £3.50. They're reasonable. Let's say we did... Just trying to think off the top of my head. Let's say we did Backstreet Boys because why not? I would expect them to be on deals. Yeah, okay, so certain ones, some of theirs are on two, four for eight. There are subsections of that, four for eight or two for five. So two for five pounds, 250 a film. If you extend it to eight pounds for, for four films, it works out two pound each. I would always opt for the bigger jet, bigger jump. So if I'm buying something for the most part, I would do four for five pound or four for eight pound. I don't really do twos because I know if I just spend an extra little bit of money, I get it makes everything, it just works out a lot cheaper. Um, so yeah, literally, you can get Chapter 1, which is their greatest hits, four for £8, so it's £2 a CD, I think that's really cheap, or you can do maybe just individual albums, um, Backstreet Back, Backstreet Boys album, four for, eight, four for a fiver, so it works out £1.25 a film, a CD, and you can mix and match between DVDs, so I think people on a budget especially, if your children are interested in physical media, you can come away with an awful lot for your money. For £20, for instance, you can come away with a lot. If you stick to the four for £5 range, for instance, you've got a 16. For the sake of £20, you've got 16 items. That's a lot of stuff. It's 16 items. That means you can maybe buy 10 films and 6 CDs or mix and match however you choose, you know. Um, there's a lot you can do with that. Now, you, you, you extend that £20 to £50. Now, you've got freaking low. low. I'm not going to do the maths on that, but... Well, I could try a 16. Well, if you're going to get 16, 16 for 20 pounds, that means we're going to do 32 for 40. And then we would add another eight for 50. 16, 32, 38. Is it? I'm getting lost. My head spun. <laughs> eight. Is it eight? Well, I'm getting lost. I think we're at 40. I think we're at 40, 40 um, discs for 50 quid. Or something like that. But anyway, it's a lot of films and, see, and, and, and so, uh, music to get for your money, I think. So there are areas where it's expensive, but I think you can mitigate that. So you can buy yourself some the odd collectible, something a bit expensive, but then you can mitigate that with some cheaper items mashed in too. Um, but I found the... What do you call it? The stocking was a bit of the the, the the curveball for me because I wanted to have a favourite chocolates like Lindor and all these sort of things. But that adds up on top of the other payments you're paying for all these other little items. So 
like I say, I've done what I can. I've done, I've fulfilled what she wanted. And to be honest, I'm I'm happy enough with it. Bear in mind, recently just bought a bloody Xbox, and she's just recent. I've just recently sent her a CD player with CDs and DVDs, so she gets things year round anyway. And she's only with me for the best part of what a week, ten days, sometimes two weeks. It's all in every other couple of months now because we live so far apart. So I try to let her take back what she can, but she ain't even got room for it. And I think that's where we got to reach the point where there's no point filling someone's bedroom with loads of junk. And, I, and this is where I see some parents, I, I, I don't want to judge, but they get too many presents for their kids. And it's almost like they're, they're trying to demonstrate their love through material materialism rather than the time you spend with them and the, the quality of the relationship. You know, and, and this is this is the part where it bothers me a lot is the kids end up with these overwhelming things. Of course, they like having presents. But then the, somehow they've got to find some way to put it. It's not that the parents have to figure that out, is it? The children have to figure it out. And then all of a sudden, that Christmas day, when the Boxing Day comes or the next day after that, all of a sudden they're under pressure getting shouted at because their room's a mess. They need to tidy up, need to find some way to put it, sort it out. And it's like, that's not, that's, not, that's not fun, is it? That's not Christmas. Christmas should be far lighter than that. It should be a time of being happy. Um, yeah, so, of course, I'd love to give my daughter the world, but you can do so much. Like last year, she got a MacBook. Um, well, a brand new MacBook, but it was, you know, uh, another year she had a Switch. So she gets things each year. And like I say, she gets things all year round when she needs it um, from both sides, you know, from her mum and me. So she don't really go about. And I'm, I'm, I'm happy with the way we've done it this year. And like I say, I've just found a few treasure troves of places to 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 seek things, and it was like she was like screaming at some things because um, <laughs> she just loves memorabilia and it's nice. 